So tomorrow is the London Card Show, and I'm going to send out even more cards for grading. I currently have just shy of 100 cards out. Uh, I've got 50-odd that are due back sooner rather than later, within the next seven days, hopefully, and then another 40-odd which have only just left the country within the last few days. So um, let's show you what I'm sending out tomorrow. I've got <laughs> I've got a whole set of Marvel Chromiums, which are, they are absolutely beautiful cards, and I'm sending off two of every single one. But that's not all, because not only am I sending off two of every single card in this set. How beautiful was that? Look at that. Stunning. Probably shouldn't have had the torch on my phone, but, you know, too late now. I've started, so I'm going to finish. Uh, I've got another four complete sets. So the idea is, obviously, I've been having 100 cards out. It does kind of mean that I've spent quite a lot of money. And you're looking at over £10 a card that I've spent out. So I need to try and claw some of that money back. And what better way to do that than to send duplicates? Because I am a collector at heart. And I do like to keep hold of these sorts of things. Because they look absolutely beautiful like this Iron Man card. Uh, but I, I need to obviously get some money back. Now these cards... I, I reckon we're going to get one or two tens. I don't think we're going to get a ten of, of each. But I'd say to send out two of every single card. The thing. I tried explaining the thing's name to my eldest, who's four years old. So, But that's a stupid name. I was like, I know, but he's called the thing. There's not much I can do about it. She knows the Hulk. That's a cool looking card. These are such fantastic looking cards. These are bought as part of a job lot of trading cards during the pandemic i think uh, i paid up for a lot of it and i got a lot of it very very cheap as well it was all over the place uh, i think all in all i spent about two thousand pounds with the the person who was selling and some of it i shifted fairly quickly and i regretted it because a lot of it went crazy prices with the whole logan paul pokemon thing look at that gambit card Oh, fantastic. Imagine that in a PSA 10. It would look marvellous. It really, really would. Cyclops having a bit of a resurgence after the X-Men 97 series. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm trying to watch the original X-Men with my four-year-old first. So we can we can bond over that. Punisher. I get oh, wicked artwork. But yeah, two of every single card. We got Bishop, and the backs are different colours as well. So if we put these two together, you can see different colours. Bishop again. Then we have Juggernaut. Again, it's just a fantastic, fantastic looking card. I mean, and these are old. These are the same age as my little brother, which is crazy to think about it. It's... They, they've been somewhat well preserved for such a long period of time. And I would imagine with these Chromium cards, they, they must have a habit of sticking together if they are pulled from a pack nowadays. So I would imagine they are somewhat hard to grade. But there we go. That's all the Marvel cards. Next up, we have... Uh, let's do the football cards at the end. Um, we've got some Pokemon cards. So we have from... Is it Generations? I think it was Generations or Evolution. I always get the two mixed up. I always have and I always will. But we do have Charizard Hollow and another Charizard Hollow. And we are following the same pattern. We are doing repeats. We have Gaia the Fierce Knight. This is, I think it's a 2019 Korean reprint, which is very, very nice. Already got a, a couple of cards graded from this set. A couple of tens. They, abs they look absolutely fantastic. Exodia. Exodia and Exodia. Now there's only one Wigglytuff and the reason being, uh, actually there's only one of each of these because I have no nostalgic feeling towards this set. 2004, um, I, 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 I wasn't collecting Pokemon cards then so whatever these come back with, the chances are they are going to be sold. But these were pulled from packs by myself. I bought I bought packs from Leon Art. I think I've... I've I might have him on Facebook still. Um, I bought packs from Leon Hart a long, long time ago when he first started. 
and I think I paid like £35 a pack or something ridiculous. Um, but we do have a Wiggly Tough Holofoil. Look at that. Beautiful card. Energy Removal 2. Tauros. I love that artwork. I've never known a Tauros card to look so good. Really does look good. P2. I don't think I've pulled this one. Um, but it's... Oh, actually, there's a bit of whitening there, which I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Do I send this or do I not? I might swap it out. I don't know if I can send the Bear Walker Charizard card in its place. But that print is horrible on that. Look at that. The, uh, 057 out of 750. Mind you, that's a stamp that's got to change, I suppose. So that's... There might be the case. Not for my alarm to go off to remind me that it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Thank you for that. we got Hound Doom from the Neo set. I might still send it, you know. Because it's it's an old card. It's from 2003. It's a P2 card. It's going to be fairly sought after. It's going to be an 8 though, isn't it? I'm calling it now. It's going to be an 8. Uh, so we've got two Hound Hours. Hound Doom, sorry. Absolutely love Oh, that's a swell. Look at that bad boy. It's like a double swell. Looks like a, a gentleman's moustache. We've got two Toys R Us Pikachus. These are going for silly money. And I think I have a lot more of these hidden away somewhere, but I just don't know where. But it makes sense. Oh, that's Look at that. That's horrible. That's not a 10. That's... Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I might actually sell that raw. Yeah, I don't think I, that's worth grading. That's an 8 at best. I mean, not that I'm a professional grader, but that's, that's put me right off. I'm going to put that to one side. It's just not worth it. That's going to be... That's worth more in someone's binder collection. I'll take that for trades. And this bottom looks terrible as well. Maybe that's why the 10s are worth so much money. You know what? I don't think either of those are worth grading. So I'm not going to. I'm going to put those back to one side. There we go. We're changing things. They're going in the trades pile. We've also got Raiding Collection Charizard. I love that card. And again. And again. For a dress from Neo set. Hopefully it should be a fairly straightforward and easy card to grade. It's quite dark on a holofoil. Uh, Japanese cards back then are fairly decent quality. And again, these are cards that I pulled myself. All of the Japanese Neo cards are cards that I pulled myself because back in 2016, the, the, the packs were cheap as chips. They really, really were. Then we've got some football cards to send out as well. This is a one of one Jamie Carragher. There you go. One of one. There's only one printed. There's only one in existence. And this is that one card. This was bought on Whatnot from a Cardsmate stream where the Liverpool spot cost me £9. I had someone offer me in excess of £300 as soon as it was pulled. However... It's got to be graded. It has to be graded. I, I I feel so much more confident grading cards and, and selling them that way than, than raw because they can't get damaged. They just can't. So we've got a, a Jerry Carragher one of one. We have a Garnacho rookie card from Topps Chrome. Nothing particularly special. But there we go. We've got a David Beckham card. Again, this one was... Uh, in fact, I think all of these, bar the Barcelona, uh, Barcelona ones you're about to see, have all been purchased on Whatnot. And if you want to join Whatnot, there'll be a link down below. And you get some credit if you join up using my link. Um, and I get a little bit of a kickback too. So everyone goes home a winner. But there we go. Oh, that's got a little bit of a fingerprint just up there. I might try and wipe that off with a microfiber cloth. But yeah, David Beckham autograph, absolutely beautiful. We do have a numbered card, Rafina, number 92 out of 175. From the, uh, this was a horrible set, by the way. These, these came out looking absolutely horrendous. I've not seen very many good cards. Thankfully, the numbered cards have, have come out okay. We've got a bookend of uh, Pablo Torre. Rookie card. The reason why I'm grading it, it's numbered, it's rookie. That's numbered, 
and with as i say a lot of these cards are, they are so bad so so bad i mean the centering is well off i mean look at that that's that's a thick boy that's a thin boy it's not going to come back as a 10 um it might actually get the off center grade because of how bad that is on the back i don't know if there's an off center market in football cards but i know that in in pokemon cards there definitely is we've got another numbered card number 27 of 50 but again we are really thick on one side and really thin on the other so i don't know what that's going to do for the card grading itself hopefully we'll be okay we've got a trossard card number one of five i pulled this myself from a video which has not gone live yet on the channel because i want to post loads at once uh i've got two trossard cards but only one of them was worth grading which is this one the one of five we do have another autograph card it's just a, a stickered autograph and it's not numbered but Again, the edges look to be somewhat nice, and on this particular set, as I said, the, the edges are found to be absolutely woeful. I don't know if it was a print thing or what, but it's just not good. We've also got we got a little bit of uh, of someone's kit here. It's not numbered, uh, but it is player worn, which is the main thing. And again, uh, graded cards, they just look better. And if I have to sit on them for 10 years and I get to observe them in the meantime, that's fine. I resell other things on eBay so that I get to look at silly bits of plastic and cardboard and just admire it from a distance. But there we go. That That's everything that I'm sending off to grading tomorrow. I'm about to max out my credit card.